This is an old Stromberg Carlson candlestick phone. And I've been wanting to connect it to my Asterix box for a while, but I had a couple problems before I could do that. The first is that I don't have the subset, the ringer box that connects uh, between this phone and the phone company that usually hangs on the wall. So to get around that, what I've done is connected the phone to this 425 network out of a uh, 554 wall phone. The 554 is uh, the wall phone uh, kind of equivalent of the Model 500 desk phone, which is the big clunky rotary dial iconic phone that you've probably seen before. On the side of the 425, I've slapped a uh, modular box that has a phone line going out to a Linksys PAP2 analog telephone adapter. You've probably ran into these if you've done anything with Asterix before, but if not, it takes Ethernet in and provides up to two phone lines. So that gets my candlestick phone connected to my Asterix box, but the second problem is I still don't have a way to actually dial numbers. This phone is so old that it's from a time where uh, calls were completed with the assistance of the operator. And I thought, in part, uh, just to keep it authentic, it would be neat to do that, and also in part because I just really can't find an easier way to complete a call uh, other than maybe switch hook dialing. Uh, so I, I wanted to recreate the operator, and so what we did is took the uh, Linksys PAP2, configured it into a hotline mode. Now through the web interface you can set the dial plan so that whenever uh, the phone is taken off the hook, the Linksys PAP2 calls a number that's predetermined uh, preset on the adapter. Um, this number is on my asterisk box which actually triggers an asterisk uh, script, an AGI script, uh, an asterisk gateway interface uh, script that records audio from the phone's microphone and it sends that audio out to Google Translate, uh, Google's Translate API. Uh, Google has the ability to take a recording in Speaks Kodak format or FLAC, the FLAC format and it'll extract out of that the, the text for you. Um, so whatever is spoken that it understands, it gives you back the text of that along with the score of how well it thinks that it understood that. We're going to take that text and use it to, uh, to actually go into uh, a dial statement for Asterix so that we can have Asterix uh, call a number for us given the number uh, verbally. So the number we're going to try and call as a test here is 202, which is the extension of my model 302 Western Electric phone. Uh, we're doing that because the 302 has a really loud mechanical bell ringer, so we'll be sure if we got it or not. So that you can actually listen to the operator um, during our call. I've hooked up this uh, Harris TS44 in between um, the 425 network and the Linksys PAP2 adapter. So if I turn it on speakerphone while it's on or, uh, monitor mode, and move back here so we don't get too much feedback. You should hear when I take the phone off the hook the operator answer, and then I'll tell her where we want to call. Operator, what number, please? 202. Just a moment. <laughs> there we go.